Hello guys, it's me, Tony Wony, and today I am here to board you with another 7 minutes on um, speed paint. And of course, like we all know with YouTube speed paint and all that stuff, you watch the first few seconds, then you skip all the way, and then you forget about it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, now I have lost over 50% of my audience. Let's go talk about what I'm painting here. So, what I said about last speed paint, I was mentioning about, okay, playing out my paint. And yes, I have a plane I'm painting here. This is a Wario Way. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right, but it's actually um, it's in um, an Aborigine. It's basically mean um, in Aborigine um, challenger because when you want to name something cool, you should go to different languages and just um, you know just use translating. Um, that's how I name most of my stuff. But anyway, I'm getting off sidetrack. Um, the Warway is a Australian built aircraft um, and then I actually watched it, I was doing a little bit of research I was digging all around and finding information, it was built um, what was it? it was built somewhere in Victoria it broke the world's distance records from Egypt to Australia so that's pretty impressive, about 7,000 7, miles I think um, the plane is a multi-purpose aircraft because um, um, a good quote I heard from Swedish tank designers: "We are a poor nation. We are a poor nation. So design something cheap, but not too cheap that we can't afford it. Because um, when you design something too cheap, it could have a lot of failure rights. It could be um, not very compatible. So think about it like you can only buy. All right, let's let's make an analogy. So we are." poor country and you need to buy a knife well you need to make a knife and you have enough material to make eight knives so don't make like 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 try to make like 16 knives like really cheaply because they probably all fail on you and they have a really short lifetime which you end up have to paying more money to get more um, a German a good German um, old saying I remember is saying the cheapest way is the most expensive way so instead of making eight mediocre knives, you can make three Swift Army knife, and you can see my analogy where it can be multi-purpose for everything. Um, that's a terrible analogy, but I hope you understand. So Australia made the railways. It's a multi-purpose aircraft. It's a bomber, a trainer, a fighter. Maybe you can force it to be a cargo plane, but I don't know. It's a two-seat modified plane. Um, I don't know, I can't remember I mentioned it, but this plane was designed, it's actually um, a licensed NA-33 from America. Um, I don't know too much history about the NA-33. Um, all I know, it's just made in America, and I don't think that's like a huge um, it, service life. But in Australia, it really became. Um, I think a lot of Australian airplanes are actually just licensed aircraft. I'm not sure about the Ansons, um, and I and I think the Kangaroo is actually a licensed Mustang. So that's pretty neat. Um, another neat thing that I learned from the railways is that my teacher is actually no, <laughs> my teacher's grandfather is actually a pilot of the railways and the Ansons. So that's really cool. I think his job, um, from judging it was to be a pilot, just like a cargo pilot, like, you know, just moving stuff all around. I guess he was in the railway as a trainer, and then he moved in the Ansons. Well, I, I can't really remember the name. I, and I think I think the Ansons a cargo plane as to transporting goods around the country. Because, um, if you don't know, Australia is a very large country, and it's not very populated. Um, right now, currently, we have 24 million people living in Australia and they're all scattered um, in a country size of um, America. Well, something a little bit smaller than America, I'm not exactly sure. Um, our smallest state is Victoria. Well, I like to think Victoria is the smallest, but HOTA and the, the TAC is the smallest state. But Victoria is about the size of Texan. Texan. So, because I know most of my views are Americans. And our biggest state is to half the size of Australia. 
So yeah, it, you can imagine it's fairly large. Um, so here the painting, I'm giving the highlight spectacles to show that this is a really shiny metal. Um, this is a pilot. Uh, it's just some random pilot. You can see the, the the tail gunner spot. It's just empty. I didn't really felt like doing gunner spot. I was adding more highlights to the wings because the wings I you expect quite a lot of glare. Um, and you can see I'm doing the background. This is actually my first time doing landscapes, and you can see I'm searching up quite a bit what landscapes look like. And the first thing I notice is those roads, like gravel dirt roads, which is very Australian when you go to the outback. Um, a lot of grass fields. I don't know what you call it in Australia. Maybe grass fields, steps, fenaries. I don't know. But I'm just going to call it grass fields or the bush. I'm painting some lovely um, gum trees. Very simple. Just draw a stem on the underlayer. And then you just go over with a fluffy um, brush. to so make the leaves. I made another field. At the back field, I like to think that's a wheat field. And then I just add details. I'm really just doing it on the spot. I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to steal what the color of wheat does. At the back here, I just did a random field. I'm not sure, but I think I search up like a carrot farm and just like eye drop it, just like sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. <laughs> Um, at this point, I've nearly finished the illustration, and I don't know what more to say. I have about 30 seconds left. Um, over here, I'm painting clouds. Uh, about the teacher saying, she also lived on a farm, and <laughs> a little joke that she she makes that all her livestock, they're called Jason. Um, you can see I tried to paint cows, but I failed miserably. Over here, that's a very important detail. I think that black, that, um, that black special paint, should be universal on all vehicles. So what that black splash of paint does is actually to absorb the fun um, the sunlight that hits that hits off the the front of the car or your vehicle. And of course we have it on planes. If you notice on aircraft, most of the airplanes actually have that splash of black paint to absorb that um, sunlight. And you can see here's the fish piece. Um, I try numerous techniques like. Um, I try to use a square brush to make it look more traditional, but it kind of looks uh, digital because it's so squarey. Uh, I hope you learned something about Australian aviation history. It's not that significant, and I hope you have a great day. And thank you for not leaving the video. Subscribe to PewDiePie.